The main plot of the Bourne legacy is how the repercussions of Jason Bourne lead to a domino effect where they want to shut down a new program called the Outcome Program. Now this takes place right in the middle of the last Bourne movie. When I look at the Bourne legacy, I think the Bourne legacy for me is like an origin story of a new character, which we do get in here, played by Jeremy Renner. The, the main common theme in the Bourne movies is that the action scenes and the fighting scenes in, the, in those movies are choreographed really good. For me personally, I don't think it's as good as the original fighting scenes, but it's good. And as an origin story, you really don't got a lot of action scenes in here, in this movie. But when the action scenes do happen, it's good. I, I enjoyed the action scenes for what they actually were. But the Bond movies for me, I always thought that the Bond movies were good action spy movies. I thought pretty much nothing can really top them, maybe except for um, Mission Impossible and a little bit of James Bond. And with this movie, like I said before, it's like an origin story and it didn't have a lot of action to it. But I was deeply invested in the new characters that they have here with Jeremy Renner and um, Edward, Norton, Edward Norton's character. But the main problem for me in this movie is that the pacing is really kind of slow or off key a little bit. Sometimes it picks up, then sometimes it lets you down, and it's really slow pacing. And at the beginning of the movie, it took a while to get into. For me personally, I think that this movie could have could have been really shortened down a lot. This movie did not need to be about this movie did not need to be two hours long. And it really could have cut down maybe about at least 20 minutes totally to make it more better. And some scenes in for me really I really thought they didn't need to be in there. But other than that, this movie, like I said before, the Bourne movies have a common theme of good action sequences and good fighting styles. And this movie, it lives up to that, but for me personally, I don't think it's, I don't think it's as good as the original movies. Now this film stars Jeremy Renner. I thought he's a little more better than Matt Damon because he gave a little charismatic or, or a little more charismatic uh, portrayal of his character, of his title character, because I thought that Matt Damon, I like as a good actor in the Bourne movies. I love him in the Bourne movies. But I thought that he was really kind of basic, so to speak. Pretty much, Jeremy Renner's character was a little more interesting than Matt Damon's character a little bit. Slightly a little bit. Not too much, but slightly. For me, everybody gave a good, decent performance throughout the whole movie. Now, like I said before, my main problem is the pacing issues. And I thought that the movie really didn't need to be that long. But other than that, The Bourne Legacy is a good, solid movie. Does it live up? Does it live up to the original movies? Uh, uh, does it live up to the original Bourne movies that came out earlier? Uh, for me, I don't think so. I I like the Bourne, the original Bourne movies a little more better. But this is this movie is enjoyable. Like I said before, the pacing's a little off key. So I'm gonna give the Bourne Legacy about three and a half out of five stars. So if you like this review, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing does help. And until next time. Movie Nation.